Hey, what's up, everybody? It is what? Thursday, December 2nd. Big move up in the stock market today. Look, I'm going to make some comments here, and I've been making them over the past couple of days. First of all, today's rebound in the stock market, I think it says pretty clearly that the market is not concerned with this Omicron variant. Okay? I mean, yesterday when we got that first report of, you know, the first instance of the virus here in the United States, it was a big sell-off. Today, a huge rebound. So, I mean, there's been a complete recalculation, at least in investors' minds, about the virus and the impact on the economy. Speaking of the economy, there is now a forecast from the Atlanta Fed. You know, they have the GDP now showing or they're forecasting fourth quarter economic growth at 9.7 percent just under 10 percent we also got news today that OPEC has agreed to increase production oil production in January that was a little concession made to the United States or the United States made a concession to Saudi Arabia and I guess the two are, uh, you know, kumbaya now, where there was some friction before, but we're going to get an oil production increase out of OPEC in January. So this whole stagflation, first of all, the stag is not happening. We're going to have nearly 10% GDP growth in the fourth quarter. The flation part is unraveling. We see oil prices coming down, gasoline prices coming down. I know some of you have said, well, Mike, they're not coming down at the pump. Well, they will. You have to give it time. Uh, just because they're coming down in the futures market, you know, it takes a little time for that to trickle over into the um, actual pump prices. So, I mean, we're going to have strong economic growth. We're going to have prices coming down. Hopefully, now the only thing holding me back from saying you got to go all in right now, really, really bullish. And by the way, I didn't even mention that the uh, weekly... Uh, American Association of Individual Investors survey, sentiment survey that comes out on Wednesday, that had the highest level of bearish sentiment in 14 months. All right? I mean, that's the kind of negative sentiment that fuels big rallies. So the only thing holding me back from saying, and I, I kind of want to say it anyway, but the only thing really holding me back is that we need a continuing resolution. One was passed in the House today, but it still may have a rough time in the Senate. But even if there's a shutdown, which may be over the weekend, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a prolonged shutdown. So the picture appears to be shaping up as a very, very bullish picture. Now, I could be wrong on the, uh, on the shutdown. We may get no continuing resolution. Uh, it may be a prolonged shutdown. I don't know if that's the case. Then we will definitely see a deceleration in the fiscal flows, and that won't be good for the economy. All of those forecasts about economic growth, those are going to go out the window. All right, we still have a month left in the fourth quarter. All right, that projection by the Atlanta Fed is for the fourth quarter. We still have the month of December, but you know, they're saying, you know, there's a lot of pent up demand. We're coming into the holiday season. I see here in New York, like everything's crowded. People are out. I mean, it's packed. Restaurants are packed. Broadway is back. If people in Times Square, I mean, everything, the stores. I don't know where it is where you are, but that's certainly where it is here. So yeah, that's, um, that's a bullish setup. We just need Congress to, to you know, Light the candle, so to speak. Light the fuse with a, uh, you know, some continuing resolution or eventually a budget. And um, we're going to be ready to go. I mean, everything is lining up. Everything is lining up. Lower oil prices, lower gas prices, strong economic growth, fiscal flows coming back. Sentiment really, really negative. Everything is lining up. So you got to be bullish. I think. Let's just wait to see what Congress does. They got to do something by tomorrow at uh, 12 midnight. 
Otherwise, there is a shutdown. But again, if there's a shutdown just over the weekend, that's no big deal. Only concern really is a prolonged shutdown, and I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, that's it for now. See everybody tomorrow. Bye.